Hey Pythoneers, in this video, we'll go through two fundamental algorithms for traversing graphs and trees, ones you must know to level up your Python skills. Let's start with the Depth First Search, or DFS. Here's how it works. First, you need your graph structure, often represented in Python using a dictionary, where each key is a node, and its value is a list of its neighbors. You also require a starting node to begin your exploration. Crucially, you require a way to keep track of nodes you've already visited, often with a simple Python set. This prevents you from getting stuck in loops. Now, let's make a function. Typically, a recursive one is easiest to understand. When this function visits a current node, first it checks, is this current node already in our visited set? If yes, we stop going down this path and backtrack. The function just returns. If it's not visited, we mark it. Add the current node to the visited set. Then we process the node. For now, let's just print its name so we can see the path. Next, the depth part. Look at the neighbors of the current node. For the first neighbor in its list, we immediately immediately call the DFS function again on that neighbor. This is us diving deeper. The function keeps calling itself, going deeper and deeper along one branch, marking nodes as visited and printing them. Once it hits a dead end, a node with no unvisited neighbors, it backtracks automatically because the recursive call finishes. It returns to the previous node. From that previous node, it then tries the next available unvisited neighbor and dives deep down that path. This continues until all reachable nodes from the start have been visited. So, when we run this on a sample graph starting at node A, we might see the output, A, B, D, E, F, C. See how it went all the way through B and its connections before even visiting C from A? And that's the depth-first search algorithm in Python, a fundamental graph traversal technique, powerful and essential for many problems. Okay, now let's switch over to the breadth-first search or BFS. Here's how it works. Given a graph structure, often represented in Python using a dictionary, where each key is a node and its value is a list of its neighbors, which can be visualized like this. We start by importing the deco class from the collections library, which we will use for efficient queue operations, adding and removing elements from either end. Next, we define a BFS function that takes two parameters, the graph, dictionary, and the start node, where exploration begins. Inside, we define a set where we add the nodes we have already visited. Next, we initialize the queue with the starting node using the deck object. Then, we mark the start node as visited. Now we run through the queue, where we first remove and retrieve the first node from the queue using the pop left method. We now use this node and print it to see the visited path in the terminal. Next, we iterate through the neighbors of the current node we are processing. For each neighbor, if the current neighbor is not already in the visited set, then we add the neighbor to the visited set and append it to the queue for further processing. If the node is already in the visited set, we simply continue to the next iteration. When we call this function with A as the starting node and run it, we see the path the algorithm took. A, B, C, D, E, F. This example assumes an undirected graph, meaning edges go both ways, e.g. if A connects to B, then B connects to A. And that's the BFS algorithm in Python, a fundamental graph traversal technique. And that's it, no magic, just two powerful and essential search algorithm in Python. Try implementing it yourself, explore some graphs, and follow for more coding tips.